Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to actually get peppers to become hotter in general and talk a little bit about what hot peppers are as opposed to sweet peppers. So sweet peppers are the oddball in the bunch. They have a recessive gene in it that prevents the plant from producing capsaicin. So sweet peppers in general are the oddballs. Capsaicin plants in general should be producing capsaicin all the time. It's not normal for a plant not to produce, a pepper plant not to produce capsaicin. So the sweet ones are the oddballs. But with capsaicin, there are things you can do to actually help get your peppers hotter if you're growing them for maximum heat level. And there are things you can do to get them much hotter than they would normally get. And so we in the pepper world, we refer to this as plant stressing. And so what we want to do is we want to stress the pepper plants out enough so they begin to produce higher levels of capsaicin. And capsaicin, just so we're clear on this, capsaicin is a chemical a plant produces as a protection agent, whether it's under plant stress or being attacked by insects or anything that becomes a threat to the plant, the plant will begin to ramp up its capsaicin production. So if you're looking to get your pepper plants hotter, then what you need to do is stress your pepper plants out. One way to do that is to allow your pepper plants to dry out almost to the point where they start to wilt. You want to kind of get them to that point. I'm not recommending this for people who don't normally grow peppers and they don't know their pepper plants well enough to do this. But if you're somebody who really wants to ramp up the heat on your peppers, you're going for a hot pepper competition and all of that, you really want to stress the plants out. And by letting your plants dry out to the point where they're almost wilting, then you water it, you bring it back, and then you let it wilt again, and then you bring it back, and then you, you reduce the watering a lot. And the reason why reducing the watering really ramps up the heat is not because of other reasons. It's because the plant is stressed out and so the capsaicin just starts to go way up. Now this can also, this effect can also happen with overwatering a plant. That can actually cause it too, but not, it's not as effective as letting your plants dry out. So that's one way. The, another way to do it is to continuously top your plants. That's actually a plant stress when you top the top of your plants and or remove a lot of the lower leaves. That's also a plant stress. You can root prune if you want. That also creates plant stress. It might reduce the amount of peppers you get out. The peppers that do come out, I can certainly assure you, are going to be hotter than normal. There's a number of other little things you can do to also increase plant stress. There's some chemicals I believe you can add to the your watering regimen that causes plant stress. And it triggers a reaction in a plant to start producing more capsaicin. So you can do that as well. But the, the tried and proven method is generally letting your plant dry out for a couple of days to the point where it's almost wilting. Some people actually wait till they wilt almost to death and then they water them. And so you can do that if you want. If you've got like 50 of the same plant and you want to experiment with like two or three and really bring them to the point of death and then bringing them back to life. You can go that route if you want to try that and experiment with it. I water them uh, every other day and I let them kind of dry out in between it. Sometimes I'll water them every day, but I water them every day when it's really going to be a really hot day out and it's not cloudy and it's really hot. I'll water them every day, but I don't give them a deep watering. I just give them a light surface water. Just spray them down once, twice, and I'm done. I don't fill it up to the rim and let it soak down. I, I don't want to deep water it. I just want to give it a light watering just so it has some moisture to get through the day because when it gets in here in my greenhouse, it'll reach anywhere between 110 and 140 degrees. And everything you see here that's nice and wet will be completely bone dry by the end of the day. So I sometimes have to give them one, maybe even two light waterings throughout the day on really hot 90, 100 degree hot days and really, you know, just kind of keep them from getting roasted in my greenhouse like it's being roasted in, a, in, a, in an oven. So I give them a light watering, and then on the days that aren't really hot and sunny like that, I'll skip the watering, sometimes for two days or three days. I'll watch the surface of the soil. I'll just see that the top kind of dries out a little, stick my finger in there, see if it's still moist a little bit on the bottom. 
and that's how I do it. And I generally get my peppers to get pretty hot. But if I really look at a ramp to heat up on them, I will start to begin to stress or stress at least one of the plants out. I will begin to stress that plant out by not watering it and really letting it dry out and then bringing it back to life and then let it dry out and then bring it back to life. And then when you get your peppers off of that one, you're going to know what I'm talking about because that heat is going to be very, very hot on those peppers. All right, so I just figured I'd share that with some of you guys looking to really pump the heat up on your peppers. Try some plant stress techniques. You can look it up online, how to stress out pepper plants and other different techniques that some people use. These are the, basically the methods I use or have used in the past past that I can actually talk about. I, I, there are other methods, chemical methods you can use, but I, I, I haven't tried them myself, so I can't really elaborate on them. All right, so that was it. That's how you get your hot peppers hotter. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.